Hey, we're the creators of Gay Girl, Straight Girl, a new series about a gay straight best friendship. I am the gay one. I'm the straight one. When Lee found me, and, and I mean found, like on the street, I needed help. I needed a lot of help. Okay, one time Ashley told me, and this is a direct quote out of her mouth. No. Conditioner is bad for you. No, 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 I didn't say it. Yes, you did. No, 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 no. no. Shh, 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 shh. She said that conditioner is bad for you. So one of the things that I really like about having Lee as a best friend is that I don't know anything about makeup. I thought of another perk of having a straight best friend as a gay person, I get to tell Lee all the celebrities that I think are definitely gay. This is a fun game. I think one of the more common questions uh, that I get is, um, are, you, are you dating Lee? Uh, and the answer is obviously no, we're best friends. Just because being gay is different than being straight, people over-sexualize being gay. Mm. So as soon as they hear that you're gay or anyone's gay, they're like, whoa, and they like throw like sex all over you. So they assume that... <laughs> if people don't stop throwing sex all over me, Something that I didn't know was that I don't understand the signs that women give off <laughs> sometimes. Uh, Not at all. Yeah, I, I'm really bad at it, actually. I had no idea that I didn't understand what <laughs> No, I can think of a few Snapchats you've gotten and a few <laughs> texts you've gotten where you're like, wasn't that funny? And I'm like, she's trying to bang you, obviously. Lee helps me a lot with girls, but I have absolutely no contributions to make when it comes to guys. Uh, I don't understand them. My dating arsenal is always just to be like, you should move in with me, we're in love. Like that's, <laughs> that's my, that's my go-to. Ashley really taught me to believe in myself a lot more than I had prior to meeting her because she really kicked my ass into gear with just not really giving a fuck about following rules and like waiting and waiting for permission. I think that's really what you taught me the most is don't give yourself permission, I would say. Give yourself permission to just do it and like no one else is gonna give you permission to ever do anything. So you just have to give yourself permission yeah, and I think that's one of like, kind of like, that's part of the female identity. Like I definitely have it, but I also am lucky to have this other identity where, you know, I didn't fit in and I, I used being funny and confident as a way, honestly, as a thing that attracted yeah. other girls. And so it had a positive impact on my life, not a negative one. Whereas I feel like being confident and funny can actually make you unattractive to a lot of guys. Not all guys, obviously, but a lot of guys. So like that reinforcement pattern never happened for me. My soul has been pretty good without balls in my face. <laughs> I prefer it, actually.